Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bienvenido to mi casa, mi wonderful casa here in Santa Monica. Today, I'm going to show you absolutely everything in this wonderful little home so that you have no questions. But of course, as you know, please feel free to always call me if you have a question about anything. I'm always here to help, okay? 203-570-9446 is my number, okay? Here is, um, well, that's really nothing. That's where light bulbs and stuff are, but um, this is basically where all the paper towels are, okay, and all the toilet paper. Up top, you'll find the garbage bags over there. And here is going to be where all the supplies are. So that's the sprays, the um, dishwasher tabs. This is the... Um, the refill for the soap, which should should definitely be enough. Um, then we have Febreze spray, make it smell nice and pretty. Okay, this is obviously my kitchen. Um, so obviously, you know, when you're cleaning the kitchen, um, as you can see, there's some you know dishes in the in the sink right now. It's pretty dirty, but um, when you're cleaning the kitchen, just make sure you know uh, to go ahead and, and keep everything clean through the, through the dishwasher. Um, in order to use the dishwasher, you know, you just sort of um, Put everything going here, put the tab right there, okay? Close it here, close it, and then hit start. If it doesn't start, just keep closing it again until, until it starts. Then it'll start and it'll run, okay? Um, just make sure this is clean, you know? Just go ahead and wipe it down with some paper towels, things like that. This is the paper towel holder right here, if you can see it. Yep. Microwave. Um, so to stream, I don't have a capsule for it, sorry, but the, here's the coffee maker as well. And then there's also a Ninja Blender if you're into making um, smoothies. Um, so that's pretty much it. You know, I just want to make sure that this is like, you know, pretty clean. And, you know, obviously we want to go ahead and, and um, vacuum this area as well. Um, every time somebody checks into the apartment, um, you know, the floor, I'll show you really soon uh, how to take care of that. Oh, also, here is the thermostat right here. Okay, you'll see. And in order to make it cool, you just underneath put cool, and then you could just adjust the temperature accordingly. This is the washer and dryer. It's pretty simple to use. All you do is you just stick your finger under here, to, um, push to the right, and then open this up. This is basically, you can see, the left is where the dishwashing liquid goes. The right is where the fabric softener goes. Then you just close that. Select uh, what, what temperature you want the water. And then to the right, you're going to, usually I just put it on heavy wash. And then just pull it. And bam, it'll start going. Then we have the, uh, the dryer right here. This is broken right now, but it's supposed to be repaired tomorrow apparently. If it doesn't get repaired in time, you can always just use these scissors to just turn it. Super easy. I just left them here for you, okay? Um, I usually put this on towels. That's going to be the strongest function, and it usually takes about an hour and a half, um, and you can leave it on high heat, okay? And if cycle signal, I'll turn it off for now. I'll, turn, I'll keep it on. Um, and that's pretty much that, okay? This is, right here, the linen closet. Everything is labeled. So, um, you know, it's not the cleanest in the world, but it's pretty clean. There's some beach towels to the right, and then everything is labeled. So, like, washcloths are going to be the, to the left. The fitted sheets are going to be down here. Um, the flat sheets are going to be to the left, and the pillow, pillowcase is going to be right here. Generally speaking, you know, you'll find that some of the, the sheets are a little bit nicer than others. Like, the ones that are a little bit, like, um, beige-ish. Those are the, the, the thousand thread counts. And those are the ones I use on my own personal bed. I don't use them for guests. Now, um, those are the ones you'll probably be sleeping in. Um, you know, if, if we have enough you know, by tomorrow morning, then I'll, I'll just put those on the bed for you. Um, you know, I don't really use those for guests because I don't like them dirtying my own sheets. But, you know, if you run out, it's not a, no big deal. There's duvet covers in there as well. And those are also going to be on the top left the top left okay 
This is your bathroom. It's your own private bathroom. Um, I pretty much cleaned out everything. You know, you'll find like some shampoo and things like that in here. But, you know, there's not really much left. There's a loofah, um, which is uh, has not been used before. If you want, you can use it. Um, and that's that. This is going to be your bedroom. Um, okay, everything will be clean. You can, you know, use everything. And here's the, here's the closet as well for you. Okay. And there's, I left some hangers up there for you. Um, this light in this bedroom, in order to use it, you have to just push this button on the bottom. If I can show that. This button, that turns it on and off. There's also another light that's on the desk. And that should be enough light. This room gets an exorbitant amount of sunlight, okay? Um, this, this part over here is broken, but you can just use your finger to just turn it and then move it up here and then that as well. So if, you want, if you're the type of person that wants to wake up early and get like sunlight in the room and really feel like energized for the day, this is the room. This gets so much sunlight. I've never been in a room that gets more sunlight in my life. Um, so much so that I always have to wear an eye mask because it's so, it's so overbearing sometimes. Um, but it's nice. It's kind of, you know, kind of a cool thing. This is obviously the guest room. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's get some light in here. Now the lights for this, this room are going to be like right here. You'll see them right there. Okay. And there's also a desk lamp as well. And there should be a plug for it right there. This room has pretty much everything. And this is you know, where you, you know, there's some, um, remotes here and things like that. Um, and this is where the aero bed goes for the third guest. Or sometimes when there's two guests, they ask for an extra bed. This is where it goes. Basically, I, I usually just put it like, like, so, um, in order to blow up this aero bed, it's kind of, it's not that hard at all. Um, you know, I don't know if I have enough room here. On this side, there is a plug. Plug it in and then push it to the inflate. There's a knob there. You push it to inflate. Once it's inflated all the way, you'll feel it and then you could just um, turn, push it to the middle. Now, when you want to deflate it, when you want to deflate it, you just go ahead and, and push it um, to, uh, you plug it in again and, and deflate it. Once it gets all the way deflated, you can just roll it up and put it in the closet. It's pretty simple. It's actually not that hard to use at all. Again, I'm probably going to, you know, order another one to come to the apartment just for a temporary thing. Um, you know, just so you know, you'll have it here. Um, you know, they can obviously use the drawers and this is going to be the bed. So... You know, obviously there'll be a, a duvet cover on this, or duvet on this, and duvet on that. The way I like to sort of set this up here is, let me see if I can... Oh, perfect. Yay! Okay. So, the way I like to do it... Hi, how are you? The way I like to do it is to put a pillow here and a pillow here, okay? That's the best way to do it. It looks the best. It's the coolest. It's the most badass. Okay. Then what I like to do is to put these pillows right on top of it. Now, if you want to get creative with it, you can rotate them just like like so. And that's sort of how hotels do it. Um, and you know, you want to make sure that the bed is sort of centered with the picture right here. Um, so that that works out. And um, now, as far as the duvet, when the duvet is on the bed, oh, this is fun, huh? Okay, when the duvet is on the bed, what you do is you box it. And the way to do that is, I'm not the best at this, but the way you do that is sort of like they do in hotels. What you do is you tuck this under, Right here, okay? Then you tuck that part under, okay? 
and then that's box. That's what hotels do. It makes it look really nice for people when they come in. Um, and then you just sort of tuck that under there just like that, okay? Now, this part of the bed right here on the duvet cover, what I like to do is to fold it back. So I, I do a karate chop, karate, karate chop, and then I fold it over my hand. Then what I do is I tuck it I tuck it here. I tuck it under. See that? Just like that, sort of. <laughs> but a little bit, you'll do it a little cleaner. Um, then, you know, I'll take a throw blanket and I put it right here along the bed, like so. So, as we can see, this isn't finished, but it's so fun doing this with my computer, right? That's um, folded back, and then right here is a throw blanket, and it looks nice. It's a nice presentation. Now, are you ready? Are you ready for my favorite part of the check-in process, okay? It's the towel folding. Now, generally speaking, a lot of people will just throw towels on a bed. I never do that because it just looks sloppy, and people don't really like it. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to take some towels, I'm gonna to show you some different ways to fold towels. Now you're probably gonna go with the first option, that's okay, and that's there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But I'm just gonna sort of show you something really cool that I like to do with towels, right? So the first option is basically, what I do is I, I do what's called a roll up, roll up, okay? So I take the towel, I fold it in half, just like that, that okay? I fold it in half again, okay? Then I lay it down, okay? And very simple, I just roll it up, just like that. Bam, you have a roll up, okay? And then what I'll do is I will, that's another lamp right here, by the way. I will just put them right here in front. And then I put some washcloths, and I roll the, to see this is kind of sloppy, but you know you get the idea. Um, I put some washcloths, then I roll them up to those. Obviously, going to be obviously going to be a little bit smaller, depending on how many guests. If there's three, I roll up three, uh, so on and so forth. You can fold it over again if you want, so like to make it even smaller and thicker. So it'll fold over like. It's probably gonna make you sick watching this, huh? the worst cameraman in the world. Here we go. You could just see I, I folded it over again and then that's a little bit thicker. That looks a little bit nicer. Now the other way I'll show you really quickly, doesn't take forever, is how to make swans. Yay swans. Oh, look how fun this is. I love it. It's more fun. Okay. So swansy swansies. What you do, if you want to be creative with it, I love doing the swans. I just love the way that they look, okay? You put one finger, okay, right here in the middle of the towel. So you just lay the towel just right across the bed like that. Then you take here and you just sort of roll it up to the side, okay? And you want to make sure that this gets really, really tight, okay? Really, really tight. Now you, the whole time my finger is right here. It's not moving, okay? And I'm just rolling it up as tight as I can, even if it doesn't get tight, I'll roll it back just so I can get more tight. And I'm just using this one hand to just keep rolling here, okay? Until it gets tight and to the middle. Now, I replace the hand, so I'm using my right one now. 
Okay. Now I take this side and I do the exact, exact same thing. So I'm still holding on with my right side this time with my right thumb. And I am just letting this go like so. Okay. Until this gets to the middle and these two meet just like that. Okay. That's what you want to get. See that? Bam. Then you put it to the side and you just let this, you know, stay and be tight. I might roll back. You just want to stay like you could turn it over just to like keep it going. Then you take another towel, you do the exact same thing, my friend. This is fun. Okay. Do the exact same thing. My finger right here. Okay. And I am rolling it up. Just like that. Okay. Rolling up the right side. Bam. Okay, and then I'm replacing my finger. And I'm rolling this up. And I'm making sure I can just I can let go of that now just as long as it's tight right here like that okay and I'll join these two together and now I'll put this down okay now you can go on this side some people like to go on this side just so it stays put no big deal it's not much of a difference but you'll generally see a lot more people do this Then you put these side to side, all right? Just like that. And you gotta make sure that these are staying together. It's the hardest part about this. These gotta stay together, okay? Then all you do is you bend it back, you bend this one back, and you blend the two, you kiss them. Isn't that romantic? Swans are the most romantic thing in the world. Now, you can get like a little bit of room over here, but this is just, this is going to be like the swans, okay? If there's three people, it's you can't do a triple swan. <laughs> you can, but it's kind of harder. So, um, you do two here, and then you put like, you know, another, you do two here, just like that, right? And then you can do another... Um, towel there and definitely make sure that there's washcloths for each person. The next thing I want to show you is um, vacuuming. And I know you know how to vacuum, but just keep in mind this vacuum that I have is really, really cool. Um, there's, uh, I'm just going to show it to you right now here. Here's my wonderful, wonderful vacuum. Okay, you plug it in. I like to plug it in like right here by the door just so I can reach into the bathroom and I can go around this room and then I can, you know, take it all the way in the living room without unplugging it again. Um, I generally make sure that I, you know, vacuum the kitchen, I vacuum the um, the table area, I vacuum the living room, um, and I put, and I vacuum the, uh, the rug in the living room. Um, you know, I vacuum definitely the room and also the bathroom. The biggest thing to look out for and the biggest thing that will creep people out the most is hairs that are around. 
Um, there's usually not many of them, but sometimes there are hairs like that 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 are left around from a guest, and you want to make sure that you know that you clean them up with the vacuum. That's the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to explain to you like really quickly how to use this vacuum. Um, it's Definitely one of the coolest vacuums I've ever used in my life. Um, you just plug it in and you press power right here. And then in order to roll it back, you just put your foot down and then you just pull it back. Okay? Now it can go really wherever you want. Now if you have something like, there's also the brush roll feature, which will use the brush roll. And that's usually more for carpets. That's going to be especially good for the carpet in the bedroom, and um, which is a little bit harder to, to vacuum. But it's going to be also really good for the carpet that's in the living room. Um, that's excellent for that. So the brush roll is usually for carpets or tougher surfaces. Um, if you, uh, I don't know what lift away is. Oh, lift away is if you want to take this part, but don't bother with it. Um, wand. If you press wand down, wand. Okay. If you, if you press wand down, you get this. Okay, and that will this will pick up all the hard. Now you can lift this up, and you can pick up all the hard things underneath the bed. You can get um, all the tough little corners and things like that. There's um there's a couple attachments here which are really fantastic. Uh, I really like this one. Um, big fan of this one. Put it on the end. And that'll get your tough corners. The best attachment does not fit on the vacuum itself. I'm gonna go grab it. So it's this. This is called the super high powered hair picker upper. That's what I call it. It basically goes on the end, and then once it goes on the end, it'll go, and it'll it'll pick up any like hairs or dust or anything like that. But it's really good for like hairs. So you can just use it like this, and then you can go down and turn the handle, and then just like pick up whatever you want. It's really nice for picking up like hard things that are hard to pick up with the vacuum itself. Um, it, it picks up hair super fast and it, it's just amazing. I love this vacuum. <laughs> I should do commercials for this vacuum. Great. Okay, so, and then here is, shit, drop my hair picker upper. Here is another tool which is really good for dust and good for the stairs when you're vacuuming the stairs in the living room as well. That's enough with the vacuum. Last but not least, this is the steamer. Okay, and the way that this works is what you do is make sure that this is completely unraveled right here and this rotates right here so that you can go down and just pull it out like that, okay? But, you know, you can rotate it all the way up. Then you, you hit this button which is push to release and you pull it out. Bam. Okay, pull it out. Now, you undo this right here, and I'm gonna fill this up with water right now so you don't have to do it, but you may have to do it again uh, if it runs out. So then you just like unscrew this right here, and then fill it up with water. All right, and then you screw it back. Okay, then I hook it right back in here, okay, 
And this thing is really, really cool, especially if you have some marks on the floor, which I find happens because if there's water that gets on the floor and I'm wearing shoes or something like that, you know, or if I'm cooking and something gets on the floor because I'm a messy cooker and a messy eater, um, which I pride myself on. And, you know, you can go ahead and plug, you plug it in. And you're going to see this light is blinking right now. You have three options. Now this is basically, before I go into that, this is basically a, a, a pad right here, okay? Um, now you can un this and take it off and throw it in the washer, which is really great. You know, after the cleaning, you just throw it right into the washer. Now if you have a lot of spots on the floor, you just touch this. There's dust, which I never use, right? There's mop and then scrub, right? Scrub is really for like the hard surfaces, like when you have stains on the floor, which is exactly what we have right now, right? So then instead, of, this is kind of like a Swiffer, but much better and much easier. To, um, not as easy to use, but um, I think much like eco, much more eco-friendly. This side, the Brillo pad, not so good for scrubbing. The side that says scrub on it goes to the floor, okay? Then all you do is you just pull this back, just like end up with a vacuum. And you scrub it out. Now we're going to scrub this floor pretty well. And I just keep going over the spots. Because this is using uh, water right now. I mean, steaming it. And you can just keep going over some spots. Sometimes they're tough to get out. Just gotta use a little elbow grease. Okay, and that's it. Now, if you want to get really, you know, if you want to do a really good job, I can. You can steam the whole apartment, um, you know, and but the main areas are really the um, the kitchen floor and then the bathroom floor. Those are going to be the main areas because those are the ones that get like the dirtiest and show it the most. So you have tile there instead of wood. Um, but, you know, like for instance, over here, and that's it, that's steaming. Now, I know I said last but not least, but I, I, I forgot something, okay? Now you can, by the way, you can, afterwards, you could flip it over to the other side where the Brillo side is on the bottom, and then it, it goes to, um, you know, scrubbing the floor instead, okay? Now we have the bathroom. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? By the way, a lot of the supplies for the bathroom are going to be under, I have ADD, sorry. A lot of the supplies are going to be under the sink here. I mean, I really keep everything. I mean, we have shower cleaner, um, Febreze, which I always like to spray the beds after I, after I make them, just to get a little bit of a nicer smell. Um, there's also, um, you know, some toilet bowl cleaner, um, some bathroom cleaner. So you, you pretty much have you know everything you need here. There's also a shower cleaner here as well, an automatic toilet toilet bowl cleaner. 
that you can put into the, into the toilet and automatically clean it, which is technologically amazing. Um, now, let's go ahead and clean your bathroom. One of the things I do, <coughs> there's also cleaners on, on in, this, in this cabinet as well. You got enough cleaner to, you know, kill a family of five. So you can just spray the, spray this down, spray the mirrors. Um, and by the way, you want to spray the mirrors in all the count, all the um, tabletops, and all the bedrooms. Put that down. Wipe that down, right? Then, I want to make sure you get the knobs. I want to make sure that this is refilled. And the, um, the soap refill is under the sink. You, we may run out. I don't think we will. But we may run out if so. You know, there's a CVS on Lincoln. And, and um, it's on Lincoln if you just head north, you know, right? But like like in between, I think, Broadway, Santa Monica maybe, or just past Santa Monica. Um, you know, it's right there. So, um, you know, if you want to grab it, that'd, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but I don't think we're going to run out. And I'll obviously reimburse you. Um, you know, and then what I like to do with the toilet is... Actually, I kind of like cleaning toilets. I know that a lot of people don't, but I kind of enjoy the process. It's not, um, it's, it's pretty fun for me. Um, what I do is I have my handy dandy toilet bowl cleaner. And obviously this is for the other bathroom, but you know, it's same, same concept. It's a bathroom. So we're going to just put that around there like that, all around the toilet bowl. This is running low, so you can grab some more from the, you know. Then just scrub it out like that. Just make sure there's no stains around with this little wand, which you'll find next to the toilet. And also, it's on the other toilet. I think it may be under the sink now. Um, just kind of like it out. Um, and then I take this spray, okay? And I spray all around the toilet, but most importantly, I spray the seat, and then I just let it go. And the reason for that is because some people don't use toilet paper because they're disgusting. Um, and when they don't use toilet paper, they leave germs on the seat, so, you know, obviously we want to clean toilet seats to the next guest. Um, and then I just spray around here, and I'll take a paper towel. I don't wipe, really wipe the toilet seat, but assuming I sprayed it all around here, I'll just wipe this whole thing down. Cool. Um, oh, another thing is, you know, with the shower, I know water is scarce in Los Angeles, and I am terrible for doing this, of course, but um, I will take the foaming shower cleaner, and you'll find it under the sink of the guest bathroom, and I'll just spray it all around the shower, and then I'll leave the water running to make sure that there's no hairs that are visible at all. Right, there's no hairs that are visible at all, and I'll just I'll just use the shower head, and, and I'll just I'll just um ooh we just got a booking for Saturday, congratulations. Um, I'll use the shower head, and I'll just make sure that all the hairs sort of go down. Um, look, that's pretty much it. You know, I think that we really covered all the bases here. Um, also make sure that there is um, you know, some uh, trash bags, which you these are going to be a little bit bigger, but you can just sort of like fit them in there and then tie them around. Um, in, in the trash can and this trash bag over here. Oh, one more thing. Um, with recycling, uh, this is, I use these paper bags up here. They're above the fridge. And, um, you know, I shouldn't really run out. I have plenty there. Um, and I put them right next to the garbage can, which is located right over here. And that's what I use for recycling. The garbage, um, you know, when you want to take the garbage out, when you go out of the building, instead of walking out like towards Broadway, 
um, which is the main entrance when you're walking around, you walk the other way. Um, you make a left. There's a black bin in the back, and that's going to be for your regular garbage. There's a blue bin in the back, and that's going to be for your regular, um, your, re your recycling. Uh, and then the, the key for that door uh, is, is the same key as the front door. Um, and then obviously, you know, to use the elevator, you want to stick any key into the keyhole and then turn it to the right. Cool. Hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll definitely create you a checklist um, just to, you know, make sure that we're all caught up here. There's some things I may miss because I'm a little tired right now. Um, but, you know, I think you do an amazing job. The first step of all of this is like at 11 o'clock when people check out or if they check out earlier, fantastic. You know, at 11 o'clock, like... The first step is like to take the duvet cover off um, and um, take the duvet cover off and then like and and all the sheets and all the towels and just throw them into the washer. Now they may not all fit, but they sh you know if you really squeeze them in there, they should be able to fit. Um, that's the that's the first step because you want to get stuff in the washer. Now you should have enough sheets here that you you know you'll have clean sheets um, in the in in the closet. But yeah, that's the first thing I do because just in case, like maybe you get it out in time and whatever, you do some other stuff beforehand. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Bye. Thank you.